Hi guys, it's Natalie here. Today I am using one of the new release Neat and Tangled stamp sets called Later Alligator to become the focal point on my card. But the other focus that I wanted to do today was to use up a whole bunch of my pattern papers. I started off um, with a real love for scrapbooking and I still have a real love for scrapbooking and what that has meant is that I have accumulated a lot and a lot and a lot of pattern papers over the years and I think sometimes when we're card making that we don't use a lot of those sort of other supplies because we typically focus on you know stamps and inks and there's nothing wrong with that but I am making an effort this year to get through a lot of my supplies so I wanted to include as many pattern papers in this card as I possibly could and I am working with um, a six by six paper pad uh, in a collection from Pink Fresh Studio called Let Your Heart Decide and I've chosen um, the colors to color in my stamped images here based on um, some of the colors in that uh, patterned paper pad and that's why I've got it sitting next to me so I can be inspired by it. The green was easy there's that green paper there you can see and so that was of course the perfect colors for my alligator here and I color my images with my Zig Clean Color Real brush pens because I don't consider myself to be sort of uh, a colorer, uh, you know, a professional color by any extent of the imagination, but I find these pens really forgiving and really easy to work with. And so I typically use a water brush pen and I pop down the uh, lightest color first and then go over and just sort of add some shadow effect with a color tone that's a little bit darker. And sometimes I even get really excited and use three color tones of the same kind of color to really give it a lot of depth and pretend that I am sort of artistic and professional in my coloring, but I'm not. So um, this was really easy to do though. And you can see how quickly that came together. And I think the results look pretty good, uh, even though, uh, you know, it's not sort of that you know professional shadowing and blah 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 it doesn't really matter it's just about having fun and now the real fun begins because I'm going to start layering up those papers and I'm just starting off by using the scraps uh, that I had from other projects that it, I've kept in that pa paper pad and I typically use lots of clean lines so these are all going to be like square and rectangle shapes and I'm just using um, you know my eye to sort of uh, you know briefly sort of figure out what kind of shape that I want there but then really just uh, going for it and cutting it up and I got really brave and I stuck down um, my layers as I went and I clearly regretted that very quickly afterwards because I'm forever sort of then pulling up the layers to put more layers in between and underneath and I'm trying to um, as I said use up as many sort of colors and papers and patterns as I possibly can but what I am doing is trying to stick to the same sort of color families so I'm sticking to a lot of the blue and greens and reds and then just a little bit of yellow as well without getting too crazy by choosing lots of different colors and even the patterns that I'm choosing here you can see that I typically like to use a lot of um, uh, patterns that are sort of the same color if you like so like they're not the pattern papers that have 16 different colors on each pattern if that makes sense so I've got that green one that's only got green colors on it and the blues are just blue and then the reds are just red and I find that much easier to layer the layers without it becoming too overwhelming to the eye um, and then I'm just adding sort of those finishing touches by really going through my scraps now and and finding that I can just pop on a little bit more and a little bit extra um, of course now it comes to the point where I just need to cut out those images that I'd colored and I'm finding the matching dies that go with it. I really like using the matching dies to cut out my images. I know that it can be sometimes just a little bit more costly to find the matching dies and it's easy to sort of justify that you can cut them out by hand and of course you can, of course you can but I really do like that lovely beveled edge that the dies make and it just gives it a really sort of much more polished and, and professional um, looking, um, you know, that it's that it that it's cut out just so perfectly and that satisfies that sort of um, perfectionist in me when all else is not very perfectionist. Those are the little touches that can make the card look a little bit more polished at the end. 
Now I'm going ahead and I apologize you can't see it on the screen but I'm going ahead and running uh, my card through my sewing machine. I like adding a lot of sewing to my projects as well because I like that extra texture that it gave and you'll have to forgive me but when I was sewing my bobbin completely ran out of thread and I knew that the camera was rolling and I just decided to keep on going and um, it makes it just a little bit more interesting again. Um, now I have pulled out that wood veneer fabulous from my scrap stash as well because I think not only am I wanting to use up my pattern papers but all of those embellishments and other things that I've got in my supplies as well so um, that came from you know many many years ago and it's time that it became used on a project now I have cut out the banner from the classic tag to die set and it was the perfect size to stamp the have a snappy birthday sentiment which comes from that hello alligator stamp set on it and now I'm going ahead and just finding uh, the right color to use for that little hole reinforcer that comes in that die set as well and I choose this blue first of all but then I ultimately don't like how it looks and I want it to be a red color and there is this uh, lovely red pattern paper in my pad but it was a full page and I didn't want to cut into it just for just that hole so then I used that sort of pinker color um, but it works well because it's in that same color family as well and I am just going to use some glossy accents to stick that down I really uh, I use glossy accents a lot for my adhesive because I find it's sort of quick drying and has a really strong bond but I'm just using a paper clip to hold it in place while that glue dries and then I'm using foam um, sticky dots to pop up the images because even though there's a lot going on in that background with all of those pattern papers I still want those images to become the real hero of this card and the real focal point so popping them off the page just gives them that dimension and that lift that they need and doing the same with the sentiment so that you can uh, easily focus on that and I think this is making a really fun birthday card uh, for a kid and I plan to give this to my nephew who's turning one in next week he'll love it